What I love about Tilda is her imagination. Lay the hole! And her openness to what's around her. Listen. What? The person. Where? I don't know, but I hear him. <laughs> He's not here, Tilda. I swear I heard him. There's nobody here. You mean in the window? No, I don't mean in the window. She's just full of life as well. Something I appreciate about Sam is even though he's mentally unbalanced, he's very much based in reality. He tries to look at um, situations rationally and, and find truth in them that way as, as opposed to the fantastical instincts of Tilda. You can worry about me. It always passes. Next time, just don't pay me attention. Don't be stupid. Of course I will. You behave me like that, I don't want you to look at me. What shall I do? Act as if you don't exist? Yes. I think the most challenging thing about Tilda is that um, a lot of times her motivations aren't necessarily clear or they change on a dime. Um, and part of that I think is relates to her, her mental illness or mental issues where you can't necessarily go in and analyze it from a completely logical standpoint. You have to kind of be looking for emotional triggers or thinking outside of my normal way of, of evaluating things. Oh, ooh, let's play enjoying everything. Come on, I'm not good at that. You always have more things to enjoy. I want to play being important. Her imagination, I, I think as, a, as an actor, you have to have kind of a, an active imagination. I probably don't play games and, you know, talk to people like Tilda does, but I, I certainly, you know, I'm trying to keep my imagination, um, you know, active throughout my, throughout my life. Or Samson the Magnificent. Or that. Or Carlo Minius. Is that stuck? Or Xerxes the Terrible. Um, the biggest challenge for this role is definitely physical. Uh, Sam has to go through some very traumatic physical experiences in the show where he's he's chasing people who aren't there and he's being attacked and he's attacking them and the, the physical aspect of that is very exhausting. I don't want you to be involved in a part of my life that's painful. Whoever these people are, they, they've got a terrible power. What? Torture. Of course they do. They're people. Scenes are about give and take. And so a good scene partner will be someone who is not just there to do their job, but who's there to listen to you and actually respond in the moment to what you're doing. Uh, he's certainly always listening, always, you know, looking each other in the eye. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>